listening to that Roger Krieger song about Everclear. And I won't tell you a song about Everclear. Well, I finished off my education. That is my high school education. Going to a little school out in misery. Tarkio, misery to be exact. It's where I learned to read and write. I never did learn it in high school. Of course, I learned a few things in college, mainly how to drink beer and ever clear and eat pizza and beer nuts and, well, other things that I was thinking about the other day, like swiping stuff out of the hardware store, which I'm wholly ashamed of now, and I've tried to make amends. Amends is very important. Anyway, we jump in the old jalopy and head out of misery up the highway there till we hit Iowa. No speed limit in Iowa, so we'd open her right up. We'd have her going 110, 120, 130 if we had the right engine. And then we'd pull into a town there. Belly up to the bar. Nobody cared much about age in those days. And they had that ever clear. Let me tell you, you drink a bunch of that, you half lose your mind. And then we met some girls at the bar met some boys at the bar and the girls and the boys decided to go back to the hotel room and mix up some punch with the Everclear of course and we got stewed half out of our minds and then eventually when we sobered up we got in the old jalopy to head back well we got pulled over by an Iowa State Trooper but just before we got pulled over we picked up a chap and his girlfriend on the side of the road there and they had a six-pack of beer, but we didn't want no more alcohol by then. They were sitting in the back seat, drinking beer and having a good time, and we were kind of feeling a little bit under the weather up in the front seat, so we just headed on, and then before you know it, the gubba bum machine, the go gubba bum machine, the gubba bum machine was uh, flashing behind us, and we pulled over because we were good citizens, and police man, the state sheriff, he rolled up to my side, I was the passenger side, I was riding, and he said, get out, and I said, what did I do, I didn't do nothing, and he said, you just threw a beer can out the window, I said, I didn't throw no beer can out the window, and he looked in back, and he looked at the guy in the wheel, he said, the guy in the wheel certainly didn't do it, and the couple in the back looks to me like they were too busy be throwing a beer can and made me go out searching the ditch till I picked it up. I'll tell you the rest of that story.